Hello, this is Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Today is Wednesday, the 28th of May, 2008, and the market's closed. We had a little bit further bounce here today. Uh, S&P 500 was up 71 cents to 139.37, uh, and it looks like we're going to make a run for these uh, the conjunction of the 10- and 20-day moving averages I thought we might yesterday. So we, we're seeing a, a nice little bounce develop from this 50-day moving average, and right now when we look at a shorter-term time frame, you still see, though, that this uh, five-day moving average Average is declining a little bit further and uh, it's, it's right up to the area where I thought maybe uh, the buyers would have a little bit more enthusiasm which is above 139.20 I thought maybe getting above that we could see a push up towards that level where the 10 and 20 day moving average are there that's about 140 and a half or so and uh, right now you still want to be cautious with a declining five-day moving average I think you've got to move quick in a market like this and uh, I've been posting a few of the day trades that I do on on my uh, blog there uh, once in a while and and you know when I post most of those day trades, I'm hesitant to do it a lot of times because a lot of people think that that's all that the book that I've just written is about. It's not about day trading. It's about understanding market structure, uh, and it's really applicable to whether you're a day trader, investor, or a uh, you know swing trader. So the S&P 500 right now on this 10-minute uh, time frame, you can see we do have a higher low. And uh, this afternoon, we uh, saw some strength that established this higher high as well. So I think the worst is over for now. But this 137.75, 137.50 down towards that area is going to continue to be very important going forward. When we look at the 30-minute time frame, you can see here that uh, you know this market is still looking like the potential for that head and shoulders top that I pointed out, more so in the queues, we'll see that in a moment. But uh, the daily time frame again is, uh, you know, still below the declining 200-day moving average and below this uh, uh, larger, more important level on the weekly time frame, which gives us reason for concern overall. We've got, uh, you know, just average volume in here today, but uh, you know, late day we saw a nice. Uh, uh, buying in here as the uh, as it cleared the uh, afternoon high uh, that is about the one o'clock high this little level of resistance was broken in here market broke past it with a nice surge in volume pulled back on light volume and then continued higher from there so overall I think on the S&P 500 we may see a little bit further uh, buying and then uh, maybe this this little rally that we're seeing uh, develop in here begins to stall out so uh, just be quick there's a lot of great stock trading ideas still out there and many of the stocks that I posted over the weekend have had some great runs and continue to look good the uh, you know what was impressive about this market was really that uh, that oil had uh, you know opened on the lows of the day right in here and then closed pretty much near the high uh, and, and the market was able to shake that off basically so I think that's pretty impressive it is also impressive that the um, financials did come right down to this uh, important level that we've been watching as support that 2440 level and you can see that it breached it uh, briefly intraday below the 2440 area and uh, not enough for the uh, sellers to really take control that was also an area what's known as uh, s2 I'm not going to get into that right now though um, but we've still got a damaged market in here for the financials it's come down you know two points over the last week or so and, and, and on a you know twenty six dollar twenty four dollar index it's about eight and a half nine percent so um, it has been a pretty good little sell off in here perhaps this market's due for a little bit further bounce up towards that ten day moving average um, it's still something you want to keep a, a close eye on because getting below and staying below for more than an hour or so uh, and and not being able to recover back above that twenty four forty level would uh, I think undermine the confidence of of this market overall. Um, the Russell 2000 continues to do battle, as we know, with this $73 level. And it, again, it's never you know just one uh, precise number, but this has clearly been an important area where we're seeing that battle being fought between buyers and sellers. We're seeing a, a, a slowdown in volume in here, which just tells us we want to be cautious of, about trusting it. And we, of course, we're below that 200-day moving average, which is declining as well. And uh, this is, again, that, that uh, larger area of potential supply for this market that really you can't get excited about the long side in the IWM 
for more than trading purposes until it can get above and hold above probably 75 for for a while. Now the the Russell 2000 though on a 30 minute time frame you can see this market is clearly looking uh, more bullish and yesterday it said that the uh, you know the 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 important area was this 7360 level. Market opened above that and then came in kind of hard tested that 5 day moving average in here found support and then late in the day was able to get back above this uh, 7360 level. So perhaps we're headed for another test of that 200 day moving average now. I think you want to continue to look at 73 as an important area of support, especially now that that's been the recent low here today, right near that 73 level, and that's where that five day moving average is. So in here, we've got this little pattern of higher highs and higher lows on the 30 minute time frame, And that becomes a little bit more clear again here on the uh, 10 minute time frame, and that's at $73.60 level that uh, now, you know, I think that, uh, you know, you want to look at maybe 73.40 down towards about 72.90 as the potential support. Breaking below that, then you want to get a little bit more cautious on here. But otherwise, you know, this market might be heading for another test of that 200-day moving average. It's not a huge upside up to that level, though. It's only at 74.30, 74.40. So, um, you know, there's, there, there, there looks like, to me, uh, you know, limited upside in these in particular in the in the Russell in particular when you look at this longer term time frame and the significance of the area where it's at right now just don't become too uh, complacent if you start to get uh, uh, you know profitable trades defense wins this game and uh, that's what you have to always remember the Nasdaq 100 uh, has found a nice little bounce here from the uh, 200 day moving average so that further increases the support the significance of the support at this level and we've also got again that uh, head and shoulders pattern that I was talking about yesterday we'll see it again a little bit more clearly on the 30 minute time frame now there's nothing here to suggest that this pattern is going to be completed it's very uh, it's very preliminary, it's anticipatory, um, but it doesn't mean you act upon it. You always want to anticipate all potential scenarios, but wait for price confirmation before you take any action. What would concern me would be breaking back below this 4875 level or so and, and getting back below the five-day moving average. That, I think, would put us in for a test of this 40, uh, 4775 which would be complete, you know, which would complete a, uh, a right shoulder here and then set us up for the potential of a move, as I outlined yesterday, down towards about 45 and a half. So, again, it's still too early to really take that too seriously because here on the 10 minute time frame, you can see we've got a, a nice pattern of this market stair stepping higher with higher highs and higher lows. Um, you know, the, the, it didn't make the higher high late in the day. I don't think that's reason for concern. What would concern me, again, is getting back below. Uh, this morning's lows at about 48.75, and then breaking below that five-day moving average, that could set us up for a test of 47.75, and uh, of course, complete that head and shoulders pattern. Um, but bullishly on the daily time frame, we still, you know, we haven't seen the lower low in here. We have potentially the makings of a lower high, and breaking that, uh, you know, that that uh, neckline right here in the low at 47.75 would create a lower low, which I think would put uh, a lot more people uh, very cautious towards this market.